Okay, it's um, probably been since August or September when I, I last sat down at this desk and did anything, any painting. I left it off having completed um, two units of my uh, phalanx. Here's the third that just needs um, finishing touches doing to it, mainly the spears, some of the feet, and then I'll need to base all the army as one at the end. But that's the um, phalanx. I'm really happy with my colour scheme and how I've chosen to do it. I think it looks good. Once it's based, that'll be good. Um, it's hard work getting through these. Really hard. Transfer what? So I think originally I bought four pack, uh, four packets of these, maybe five, to make four units. Three are done. One's based, um, base primed. Just need to paint it, and I think I was getting through about eight blokes a night at the time. Um, so hopefully a week to get them all finished off. Um, I have massive problems with the elephants, um, and I've still got one in pieces here. The glue, I've used so many different glues trying to get these things together. Um, he's almost done. I need to tidy it up. I think I did him after I had a few beers. Not too happy with the yellow um, tower. It's a bit too light for me, so I might need to touch that up. Um, but that's one of the elephants done. I need to do the riders still and get them in. And then the cavalry. I've made an absolute mess of glue in these. With all different types of glue, as you can see there. Um, I blue tacked it, pinned it, tried all sorts. Um, but I finally found um, some glue, which is Zapper Gap. And it's, it's yeah, brilliant doing the job. So now I can get these sort of properly built, stuck down. Um, I can get them painted and they won't take long. So I've got two units of them to do. One last unit of um, phalanx, one more elephant, and then just uh, finishing touches to my sort of Persian, uh, like cavalry, javelin cavalry. So I will get on with these. I'm gonna get them done sometime soon, no pressure, not bothered. I've like, kind of lost all my love for my whole project and um, probably going to sell the vast majority of my armies just to keep so you know a few of the niche ones my romans which i still need to finish off um the carthaginians i keep ghouls i keep i'll probably keep my solutions however it was literally a year ago to the day well to the month when we had a tiny little bit of snow and I went crazy and thought I want to do an Eastern Front Army. So these winter Germans for bolt action, I might as well say my other project I was doing, which was the table, I've completely given up on that. No, I don't see any point in doing it. It's not how I want it to be. It takes too much time and money and I keep messing it up. So I've given up on that, especially since um, there's a Rome Tunnel World board game coming out. So I don't see the point. Okay. So, bolt action was my sort of first love for tabletop games. I've got German Western Europe Army. I've got um, American Airborne Army. I've got Africa Corps, Eighth Army. Um, I had British Army, but I sold them. And this is my my next project. Okay, so. Really good models, board of game models, um, very dynamic, how you can get the poses. Some of the, there's not a great deal of um, unit reviews or close-up imagery of Bioaction armies on YouTube. So maybe that's something I'll look into a bit more as I go along. But as you can see, um, really, really good models. You can pose them in really good sort of like dynamic um, stances. I can't remember how I bought this. Uh, it was a year ago. They, they were literally in the box until this weekend, which is unlike me. Totally unlike me. I'm going to get it, build it, paint it, done. Move on to the next one. But I just lack my motivation. But what I've got here are, um, it's going to be four sections. Predominantly riflemen. I want to get a, it's Hammerhead on Saturday this weekend coming up. So I'm going to go to Hammerhead in Newark. I want to buy... Um, some German mountaineers, Grebus Jaeger or something, 
get some of them, a couple of the Udovits just to finish it off. But this Marmy, um, I very much want it to be a urban fighting force. Um, so that's how I'm kind of model the bases and the units. Um, so I've got a mortar, medium mortar and spotter, medium machine gun team. Um, I've got a Marda 3. Uh, Puma, I wanted an armor car. This isn't actually what I wanted for for my army. Um, if there's a game for like the iPad, iOS called um, Burning Bridges, and there's also which is World War Two Western, Frozen Front, Deadly Desert, um, just like hexagonal game. It's great for traveling. I play that a lot. And the German army, I think they had the um, the Italian scout car um, in that game, which I really. Quite liked it so I, that's what i wanted um i couldn't find one so i've gone with the puma equally as good um i've gone for a stug three with the light howitzer i might change that um i don't really want anti-tank because i've got a medium anti-tank gun heavy anti-tank gun already um so i might change it to medium or not run it at all and, and get a uh, another tank. But I've not got Stug yet. Um, my other army is my Africa Core. I've got everything from a Panzer two, three, four, Tiger, Vesp, um, Marder one, Panzer Jaeger. So I've got everything. I've never had a Stug. So that's my first one. I think in an urban environment, I can imagine that rolling in heavy armored, helps uh, clearing buildings. Um, whilst it's protected with anti-tank um, around the sides of it. And then I've got a um, verbal vent just because I think they look awesome. And there's another game for the PC called Company of Heroes. Um, and although they don't have the verbal in there, the Ostwind, which is a single turret, it's auto cannon. It's really effective against infantry. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. How am I gonna do it with vehicles? I will do all as a batch, all together. Um, I'll probably make my mind up on how I'm going to do them over the coming weeks. And also, it depends if I buy any more um, from Hammerhead. And I'm also after a um, M10 Wolverine for my US Army. But do my infantry. Uh, not going to be sticking to contrast pencils at all. Contrast for the flesh predominantly, and then I've got more sort of um, old paints at the back that I first bought for the bolt action a couple of, well, probably about five or six years ago now. But here's my Eastern Front German Army, good to go. So that's my main focus at the minute. Seleucids are in the background, um, just keep ticking over them when I get the motivation, get it clear. But that's where I'm up to. I haven't posted anything for a long time. Hopefully this is the start of me getting back into it and getting motivated again. Cheers.